Hi, I'm Damien. And I'm Elijah. And today we will be interviewing Mr. Wilson. Mr. Wilson is our ZBN teacher. And now it's time to see how he answers our questions. <clears throat> what do you want to see in every ZBN episode? What are your expectations? My expectations of the ZBN episodes are to deliver information that's applicable to um, especially your guys' 8th grade academy for this class. For my high school class to deliver information that's applicable for the high school and the same for the middle school. What is your favorite thing about teaching the ZBN course? Uh, letting the kids be creative in what they envision in their head. A lot of the times their ideas don't really match up with what gets put on the videos as you guys probably see, but the efforts there and the creativity is always going on in the class. What is the best segment you've seen on ZBM? Um, there's a couple. The best one, the funniest segment was uh, bowling when they did a spill it to fill it uh, thing where if you had to answer questions and if you wouldn't answer it then you got like you had, you had to eat a bad like food and Bollinger ate a sardine and when she ate the sardine it made the most horrific noise I've ever seen um, and I don't know if a lot of people have seen it but it's hilarious um, what is the worst segment you've seen? Granny Strasser, hands down. That's the worst thing I've ever seen in my life. What was that segment about? Dara Strasser pretended to be an old woman, and uh, you can find it on YouTube if you search deep enough, but I, I tried to hide it. What is the acceptance process for students who want to come into ZBM? The acceptance process for getting into ZBM, I'll start from the low and go high. So for the middle school, for 6th and 7th graders, you need to send in an audition tape when I have call-outs. Uh, the same will be for the 7th graders to get into this 8th grade course. You need to send in an audition tape, and then from that, I'll make the selection just due to so many kids wanting to take it in the high interest. In the high school, um, starting freshman year, it is a gateway, uh, like pathway. So you get to take that all four years as your elective, and then it could, er, and then if you take it all four years, it will end with an internship with WROI or RTC. Last but not least, what year did you start ZBN? Um, my first year teaching, uh, it was around Christmas time. We had these things called success classes, and they were like built in. 30 minute a day classes that you could, that you would go to and you'd either be homework help or you'd do like these really fun and creative projects. And I was gonna do a short film unit and when I got all the kids in the class, I realized that tw like 20 to 30 minutes a day is not enough time to make a short film over the span of semester. So we started producing these uh, ZBN, I just made it up. And we used a duct tape camera that I found in the back of the library and then from that, it grew, and our segments kept getting a little better and a little better at a time. And the next year, it was offered as a class for just a strange elective that not a lot of people took. And then the years after that, it's just kind of grown. This has been Elijah. And Damien. With CBM. Hi, I'm Blake Evers. And I'm Andreas Molina. We're going to be talking about the high school versus middle school lunch. Do you remember the lunch at the middle school? Was it good or bad? We only had two options last year to pick from, and this year we have four. Last year, the food wasn't very good because of COVID. They had a rap and tin foil and therefore it got soggy. But this year, we're in the high school, and, and we have many different options for food compared to the middle school. We asked the eighth graders what they thought. Which pair of food from the high school and middle school? Um, from the middle school is probably their chicken and eggs, and the high school is probably the Salisbury steak. Uh, which one do you prefer? Chicken and eggs. Thank you. What was your favorite food from middle school and high school? Um, it would probably be chicken noodles, and from the high school is probably the corn dogs. Alright. Out of those two, which is your favorite? Chicken noodles. Thank you for your time. What's your favorite lunch from the high school and middle school? Listen, I am notorious, infamous even, for my Apple Talks. I actually have a TED Talk, look it up. It's not on the website, it's a whole thing. But the apples at both schools, you're really gonna wanna look at this the next time you're picking your apples. The high school has four different selections of apples. I think the bottom ones might be older because they're usually a little more grainy. The ones at the middle school, they were usually good, but there was only ever red ones, and I, I like the variety. 
even though I usually just pick red. I would like to thank all the food service workers for cooking the food for all of us. You may not think about it when you're eating and criticizing it, but they have to cook for hundreds of people, and they deserve a lot of praise. This is Blake Eccles, and I'm Andreas Molina, and this and is ZBN. Hi, I'm Lily Gerald, and I'm Ben Dutry. We are here with sports. This year on the 8th grade football team, we have many amazing players and three amazing coaches. With tough conditioning and training, the seasons of games looking great. Here's what Coach Good and Mason Isaac has to say about this year's season. I'm Lily Gerald, I'm with Coach Good. Uh, what do you think about this year's season? Um, I think we're going to have a lot of fun. We've been learning a lot, especially with the new offense and defense coming in. We have a lot of guys that are willing to work hard and learn. And uh, I'm just excited overall. What is your favorite thing to do while they're conditioning? Like, what is your favorite thing to make them condition with? Uh, sit down. I like to sit down and watch them run. That's my favorite part of the job. Who is your best player? Um, of the eighth grade. Of the eighth grade? Well, I guess this is a, a big overall question. It just depends on who works the hardest. Those are my favorite types of players. I really don't have a favorite player in general. So. Who's the nicest player on the eighth grade team? Ooh, the nicest? I don't know. Gary's pretty nice, but he's not on the team. <laughs> um, I'd say the nicest player, probably Ashton. Ashton Eaton. Who's the player that's been playing? I don't know, but I know the one that's been around football the longest is probably Grant Beck. Cause it's, uh, and how long have you been coaching? Uh, this will be my second year. Last year I was the seventh grade head coach. So. And thank you, Coach Good. No problem. How long have you been playing football? This is my second season playing. What position do you play? I play lineman. What do you think of this year's season? Uh, I think we'll do good. I think we'll win every game, and if we win, if we lose any, it'll just be one. What do you think about the other players? Uh, they're really cool, except for Grant Holloway. He's pretty short. Other than that, it's a lot of fun being around them. What do you think about your practice? Uh, it's fun. The conditioning is a lot of fun to do because they make it so it's games. Uh, that, there's no nothing bad with it. What is your favorite thing about conditioning? Oh wow. Um, just getting better, you know. Get better every day. Thank you, Mason. <laughs> Thank you, Coach Good and Mason. The football team was supposed to have a game on Tuesday, but was canceled due to the heat. This year's Avery Cross Country season started last week. The coach is Kelly McCall. They had a first invite on Saturday, the 21st, with scores of Grant Bailey, 2nd, Allison Callaway, 11th, Alexa Lau, 16th, Brooklyn Chandler, 18th, Liz Vollmer, 22nd, and Katie Bradley, 26th. This year's eighth grade volleyball team consists of many friendly and outgoing players. We have an amazing coach, Jamie Smiley, and the team had two games. The one on the 24th that they sadly lost, and the other game was last night. From Ben and Lily, that's sports. Be new here. Would you like a tour of the school? Well, that's awesome. Here, come with me. <laughs> Be actually better. Okay. Mm -hmm. Here is the lunch room. If you look right there, you can see that everyone in here is eating lunch. But uh, this is not our lunch. Our lunch is sea lunch. We eat soon. Don't worry. Here, let's keep walking. That's also the gym. Here's the bathroom. Here's the women's bathroom, and then here's the men's bathroom. Here's a water fountain that you can refill whenever you need. However, these two bathrooms are, are closed unless it's lunchtime. So make sure not to use them. Okay. If you come down this hall, this is where most eighth grade classes are. Here are all the here are all the lockers. Here's a fire. If we go over here, then here's the first class down this hall. It's Mrs. Brown's class. Room one two four. Make sure not to forget that. And then right here we got the tech lab. Maybe if maybe you should take it. It's a good class I've heard. There's the tech room. And there's even more water fountain. Alright. <laughs> This is where you take social studies. 
over there is that gym I was talking about earlier. <laughs> This is Wilson's room. She's our little boy dress teacher. And then we've got Mrs. Kreitz's room. She's our science teacher. Science is pretty useful, you know. Okay, and here are the two bathrooms. The men's is down right here, but the women's is up there. And yeah, that's about all we got down here. We only got we only got three more classes to show you, and they're and they're in the real high school. So just oh hey, hey! I'm glad that you followed me here. Welcome to the real high school, as they call it. Here, come with me. This is the art room right here. This is where we draw and have creativity. Now. If you walk down this hallway, you'll end up in Spanish. Here, right here, we have the Spanish classroom. Or as they say in Spanish, I couldn't tell you because I didn't take Spanish. Maybe you should take Spanish. It's a good class, I've heard. Here we have the beach. Here's where we find normally the secretary. And this is kind of like the main office. But that's the real main office right there. We have the library. This is often where people study for homework. Get library books. I'd recommend that you should probably get one sometime soon. Yeah. 